Okay, so someone's suffering a lot from um, sort of pain and uh, burning, and um, they're using the technique by Hawkins of just allowing it to be without labeling it, um, but it's going on and on and on, and the person wants to know if this is releasing the stack, and the aunt and you know, um, yes, it is. So the um, so. The way to an, uh, avoid releasing a stack is to resist. So if, you, if you're if you in full resentment and don't want to experience it or even numb it out through addiction, like there's a there's pain all over my body, I'm going to eat 10 donuts, put on Netflix, and um, watch a horror movie. So um, if you do all of that, then that's called resisting pain. And so the stack, which is in you, uh, won't be released. To the extent you don't, so to the extent you you have the capacity to not um, to not resist, to not have any resentment, not have any thought, to to allow it to be there without uh, any desire for it not to be there. To that extent, you'll be releasing the stack uh, as fast as you're able to. You know, it just depends on you know how much uh, how what level of consciousness you're at as a spiritual student due to your previous work as to your capacity for surrender without resisting. Um, uh, things like, you know, you can, uh, if you listen to Hawkins' work, it's very easy to see what your karma is. Um, uh, not easy, yeah, really, I think relatively, you just see the message in the pain or the situation, emotional pain, financial situation, whatever it is, and just assume you did it to others in a past lifetime. So um, the person, I think, was saying, you know, it's like you were burnt, might have burnt witches. Well, it's quite probable. Actually, um, we could have had up to 25 past lifetimes. And Hawkins says most of these past lifetimes were at the times of barbarism. So, you know, torture, uh, being a, a punisher, uh, an axe murderer, a Viking, um, Genghis Khan, um, gassing, gassing the Jews, uh, bombing people, um, uh, you know, um, and that was the way of life. That was the dumb, that was, that's how you lived in those days. So if you kind of start on becoming spiritual and do all that karma, you know, maybe I, you know, uh, I have like suff uh, suffocation. So it's obvious. I like to suffocate people, maybe emotionally or, or, in reality, maybe I, I did go around suffocating people to death as a way of killing them, or maybe I just emotionally suffocated people with my um, ongoing uh, pity party. So you just uh, so you can do the anti karma prayer as well. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who suffocated others in this lifetime, or I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who burned others, um, bought, burned others, and tortured others in this lifetime and others. Now, if it goes away quickly, um, it's probably what, you, you know, it's probably a small karma. But, you know, what what is the karma of Genghis Khan, Adolf Hitler? Uh, you know, it's not going to be like you can get rid of it in one minute. It's going to take, it's going to be a big stack. Uh, it's going to take a little while to to release it. So, but it, it does come to an end. So just being with it is one way, doing the anti-karma prayer and cancelling it. And practicing the observer will help to let it go. Oh, also, the classic way, which is in the 12 steps, is just to, uh, rather than think about how bad the pain is, help someone else. Because this also aligns one uh, into, it's an anti-karma thing. So um, the best way, of course, to release like pain would be to, if there's a 12 step group with pain, would be to help people go through the 12 steps with pain or burning. But if there isn't any 12 step group, um, it will that it is a form of anti karma to bring um, to bring release and truth into the world rather than um, suffering to others. Um, and um, okay, so yes, yeah, so for that, um, you know, just carry on. I, my experience is the same as Hawkins. I had three illnesses, kidney failure, gout, and asthma, and they all his all left within three to five years, and mine all left by doing his works within three to five years. I do recommend A Course in Miracles.
Okay, I'll stop there.